Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Well, um, today we're going to talk about BARs. Actually, just a little full out of tip for one. And I even applies to the semis. Um, this video is going to be a little different. I lost the cameraman. He's busy, so I'm going to try to do this with just talking over what's in the camera. So bear with me. I hope you learned something. As you can see in the frame, I have um, my two BARs. Actually, there's an FND in there too. And as you can see from the flags, they're the Americans. All right, now let's zoom in on what we're going to talk about. Unfortunately, this wants to focus on, there we go. That's what we're going to talk about. This is the gas regulator. All right, this version, which is what is on both of my guns right now, has three small holes in the front that are inscribed to show you correspond to the gas settings. But to adjust it, you have to, there's a pin here, a split pin. And hopefully that's going to show up on video. That you, I use a center punch and punch it open and it comes out to the side and this whole little assembly screws in. Recently I purchased um, some magazines and in the magazines was a gas, gas tube assembly that had a much later gas adjustment which I'm actually going to retrofit to this gun because it makes it so much easier to use that even though this gun is a World War I close to a World War I gun, the gas system is just more practical for use in uh, with all the surplus ammo I shoot. So let's get over on the white table and I'll show you what the new gas system looks like versus this gas system. I'll punch this one out and then I'll, we'll be on the white table next. All right, let's take a look at these on the white table. Bear with me, this is like the third or fourth attempt at this. I uh, don't have a camera guy. Uh, and so as I'm doing this, I'm learning things. So first thing you'll notice is there's two regulators. This is the one that was in the gun, this is the new one. There are also two rounds of nine millimeter and a round of 22. What are they for? Well, they're there for two reasons. First of all, they're there to show me roughly where the camera's focused. And I mean roughly. Second, they're there to show that in the COVID pre-Biden administration era, I actually have two real rounds of 9mm and one real 22, so that's like a bajillion dollars worth of ammunition. All kidding aside, let's get into it. This is the BAR gas adjustment that was in my gun. As you can see, there are threads. There are also three variable size ports, so when you rotate this in the gun, you can adjust the gas flow. The problem is to do that this pin this pin goes all the way in to keep it from rotating you have to knock this pin out. It's a split pin it's difficult to do. I have to use a center punch. Now in the field I, if you're using the same ammo and the gun never gets dirty you probably don't ever have to adjust your gas tube but for me I shoot a bunch of surplus, sometimes I'll have multiple times at the range, especially at a machine gun shoot, I may need to adjust my gas system. And I don't like the idea I have to use a punch to take this out, because you really don't need a punch to take the gun apart. So I ordered some magazines, well I actually bid on some magazines, and with the magazines came a gas uh, assembly. And in it was this. I believe this is Korean War Vintage. Now what's different about this, obviously the big hole in the front, is this is a one piece with a little cross pin. This, unscrew it here, is three pieces. Try to stay in frame. The body only has one hole in it. So you have to adjust the body when you screw this in. When this hole gets as far in as you can, but this hole is still vertical, there's a cut in the gas tube. This goes in like that. And that little nipple right there keeps it from rotating on the gas tube. So then you screw this part in 
And unlike this one, which has three holes in the body, this has three holes right here. And those holes correspond to markings on the front. One, two, three, for small, medium, and large. Just like this one had markings on the front for small, medium, and large gas openings, all right? So this is in the gun. This slips over and then you screw this piece in. As you can see, everything's anti-seized. I've already had this in the gun. And realize I screwed up the video and had to come back and redo it. All right, I'm not gonna go all the way in. I'm gonna go until it gets far enough that it gets latched. So, normally when this is in the gun, this is screwed flush. I'm gonna flip this over. You can see a cut where this drops down. And when this is screwed in all the way, this pin goes into detents. Those detents I'm just messing up my props. Correspond right here on this washer. So this pin would go in there to be held in place. So once you're in it, click so it grabs a little bit so you're in the field and you want to adjust it you literally just go to the next detent it's very simple and what's really nice is this hole corresponds to a 30 out 6 casing if this is too hot to touch you can stick a spent casing in there and spin this and, and open up your gas system much simpler to use don't need any tools um, we used to call this uh, idiot proof I don't know if that's politically correct in today's world but the point is, if you have a 1918, and you have, or even a semi, 1918, it's going to have this on it. If you can find one of these, it's definitely worth your time. I don't know how many of these are around. Um, this is the first one I've seen in person. Obviously, it's going on my gun. I am now on the hunt for a second one. Hope I taught you something, and the second we'll be back at the gun, I'll show you and installed on one of my BARs. Thanks for coming, and we'll be over at the guns in a second. All right, the new gas adjustment is in the old BAR. I have the gun laying on its side so you can see the better lighting. But it's all the way in, you have your three positions. All right. And I want to rotate this a little bit. I showed you that notch. That notch actually corresponds to the hole. So in, as long as you line the, the little spacer washer notch up with the appropriate cut in the gas tube, the hole automatically lines up with the uh, gas hole in the barrel. Again, you might get a little better view of it here. So you got a BAR, semi or full. If you can find one, I haven't seen too many of these. Uh, I'm going to look for another one for the other gun. Pick one up. It's a good investment. That's your full auto tip for the day. We'll zoom back and give you a little eye candy. Uh, thanks for coming to my channel. See you soon.